Hello guys! So I am Teacher Ron and I'll be your storyteller for today. I am currently here in Kazakhstan and it is located in Central Asia. So for today's story, we will be talking about the night when the moon went missing. Are you ready to listen? Okay, so let's start. This story is written by Shreya Yadav and the illustration is made by Susaina Coelho. Late one night, when Masha's father and mother are fast asleep, Masha grabs her goggles and sneaks out of their house. Masha loves the beach at night, and one of her best friends lives in the sea. Masha goes to their usual meeting place on the beach and calls out, Uchli, are you here? She can sit here for hours watching Uchli fly in and out of the water. Uchli is a flying fish and loves to show off his tricks. But today, Uchli looks worried. What's the matter? Masha asks. Why do you look so upset? Can you see? Uchli says. The moon is missing. The moon. Uchli is right. Their friend is not in the sky tonight. In fact, there's big hole where the moon should have been but we saw her just last night Masha explained she rose from the sea right in front of us do you think she's lost underwater we have to fight her Uchli says so at this moment Masha went out of her house and looked for her friend Uchli a flying fish. But what do they notice? Yes, you're right. The moon was missing. So let's continue the story. But how will we see anything without moonlight? Masha asks. Just then, Uchli notices something in the water. Every time a wave breaks in the distance, Little sparks of light glow and fade and glow again. Masha! He shouts, excited. I have an idea. Get on my back. Let's go to those waves over there. When they reach the lights, Masha, Masha puts on her goggles, hold into Uchli tightly, and... Masha gasps. She feels like she's floating in the sky full of stars. There are tiny creatures glowing all around her. Wow, who are they? She whispers to Uchli. They are plankton. Maybe they can help us light our way to the sea, Uchli says. Will you share your light with us? Masha asks one of them. The moon is missing and we need some light to find her. You will need more than just my light, the planter says. Let me ask my friends if they can help too. Soon, Masha and Uchi are joined by an army of little animals and their flickering lights. Now. Where can the moon be? Masha wonders. I can help you. A deep, booming voice says near Masha's ears. She spins around, and the eight tentacle of a fiery squid glimmer back at her. His body is covered in neon blue lights. I saw the moon go this way just a little while ago. At first, 
Masha is scared at the big tentacles. But she knows the fiery squid's light can help them see better under water. So the first one, they saw an army of plankton. And next, they saw a big fiery tentacles which is from a big squid. Lead to way, Masha says. The squid wraps one of his tentacles around Masha's finger and said, Hold on tight. Then Masha, Uchli, the army of plankton, and the fairly big squid swam together to look for the moon. Down, down, down they go where the water is very dark. But the plankton glow brighter and the squid flashes his light. There is still no moon inside. Then they meet an angler fish. Out on the hunt, she has big teeth. But Masha is not scared anymore. Hello, she says. Were you looking for the moon? Have you seen her around? Masha asks. Yes, says the anglerfish. I saw her swimming with some moon fish a few hours ago. Follow me. Masha, Uchli, the squid, and the plankton followed the green lure of the anglerfish. The light from the glowing animal falls like a spotlight on the dark ocean floor. Suddenly, Masha sees something white under a rock. And guess what? You're right, it's their friend, the moon. Help! Squeaks the moon. I'm stuck. The squid lifts the rock with his tentacles. Hurrah! Everyone shout as the pale moon slips out. What happened? Uchli asks. I came here to meet my cousins, the moonfish, says the moon. I got lost on my way back when my light began to fade. And then, I stuck under this rock and thank you for coming, for looking after me. So this is where you were when you were not in the sky, Masha says. The moon smiles and begin to float up towards the surface. Finally, she jumps into the sky. Uchli and Masha wave goodbye to their new friends and swim back to the beach under the moonlight. The stars under the sea continue to shine deep into the night. Meet the light makers. Did you know that many animals, both above and underwater, are able to make their own light? We have the tiny plankton. That Masha and Uchli meet glow to scare the animals that they eat them. When they sense movement in the water, the plankton let out bright sparks as a warning. Sometimes, Wave and boat traffic also trigger this light. While plankton animals have chemicals in them that helps them glow. The fiery squid has special organs called photophores that produce its light. Thousands of these light producing photophores on their squid's body flash to attract food to end to impress baits and confuse predators. The lures of an anglerfish get their light from the glowing bacteria that lives inside of them. Many plants and animals glow above water too, like fireflies, some mushroom, and even you emit a tiny amount of light every day. So that story is again the night 
when the moon went missing. Written by Shreya Yajaf and illustrated by Susayana Coelho.